Just take a quick look at your calendar if you don't know what I'm talking about. We done with that. We done with that, baby. We ain't gotta go through that. And I already know a good majority of you guys are terrified about that fact. But don't worry. It's alright, y'all. I mean, it's already here by the time y'all see it. Yeah, facts. Good luck. I only got one piece of advice. Don't fall. Do not fall first week. Do not fall. Or like actually fall yeah, do physically. Not, do, do not, not fall. fall. Yeah, yeah. Don't Giving trip. you some tips about going back to school and my own experiences. All right, first we gotta talk about back to school shopping. Now it's 2020, and to be I know for part. a fact no one's watching TV as much anymore because TikTok and YouTube killed that. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> back in my day, nah, back, I'm kidding. Wow. The back to school ads always just annoyed me, bro. Cause I'd just be sitting on the couch munching on a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch, watching me some fairly odd parents, and all of a sudden, and you get reminded of my important cartoon time reminded. to remind me that school is starting. Yeah. Bags, like, I ain't wanna experience and tell this. Tell me why in every back to school advertisement, all the kids are happy go lucky, all excited for. And nobody was excited to be in school. You, nobody, nobody never, never. Yeah. Even school shopping, you don't see an excited kids. Maybe the little ones. Like, oh, let me get the markers. Let me get the crayons. Bro, no. I ain't gonna hold you. I no. hated school all the way till the time I went to college. Matter of fact, when we was in high school, we didn't really go school shopping with our parents. They just did it. Yeah, they, they just did it for stuff. Sure. We might go get the backpack or one or two things, but they just did it for Heading back to school. By that time. Like, no, man. School is not something to be happy about. What kid is happy about going back to that house of them. just to listen to a teacher talk After about summer? pointless information no. for eight hours straight and assign bullshit <laughs> useless homework? No one. Facts. Except Sheldon. Oh. Sheldon, <laughs> but dude, I swear the child actors in these ads had to be held at gunpoint or something. For so, we, I love going back to Yay. school shopping. Yay! Uh, hey Jimmy, um, I'm gonna need you to be happier, okay? But I'm trying my best. Damn. Don't shoot me. Damn. Yeah, I'll give you all I got, bro. I, man, I ain't gonna lie, I did enjoy getting school supplies. I ain't gonna hold you like the notebooks, the fresh notebooks. Yeah, not like, not like for use of school. Yeah, just to when have they, when they came on with the supplies, I was like, "Yeah, let me, you know what I'm saying?" I'm, 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 I think I was right now my future. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't care. You better pick up your act or you're not getting paid. Like, bro, when I'd go back to school shopping with my mom, I was annoyed at the fact that summer was over. I couldn't Dang, care less about the new so backpack, true. pencil case, Nobody or cares. binder I was getting. My didn't want to go back to school, but you would always see her friends going back to school shopping too at the local Walmart. And it was always nice to see and talk to people you haven't seen throughout the summer. Facts. And just a side note, if you were one of those kids who pulled up to school with the 64 pack of crayons hey. with the sharpener at the back, I hate you. I think I might matter have fact, that one matter time. Fact, matter of fact, see, see. That's rookie. That's rookies? You rookie number. Didn't they have a 128 or something Exactly. Like that? Yeah. There was a 128 <laughs> mm -hmm. that had, it was color coordinated. Unlike because a lot of regular crayons they not they're not color coordinated. See, that's that's just a jumble. That's yeah, a, that's a mix. But that one twenty eight was color they coordinated. Had the different shades of every color. I know, never man. forget kindergarten. I was like, <laughs> also you was flexing. Yeah, and then I got in a fight with a kid. Oh, okay. Like the next day. Okay. I crossed, that was the ultimate. You went, what? I went across the table. Oh damn! Kindergarten. Damn. That was my first fight. I boom 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 boom. boom. <laughs> and I was first. Oh yeah. man, you had. <laughs> And I never had it. Now we gotta talk about drip. Now, if you go drip, to a school that drip, requires drip, uniforms, drip, drip. you don't really need this information. Not at all. But for yes, you do. You, if you it requires you, look, I'm, I'm about to put y'all up on game. The way you win at uniform schools, the kicks, mm -hmm. the kicks. Mm -hmm. Shoe game, like say for example, you can only wear black and white, right? The kick game gotta be immaculate. Concords. Forces like every black and white kick, you gotta have all of them. They got some cheap ones out there too. You know? Most so. people that attend a public school, listen, bro. I'm a dude that preaches about expressing yourself, just wearing what you want, and not caring about other people. There was a lot of opinions. thugs in my but day. But man, sometimes you just gotta chill. Depending if you wear wild, <laughs> like please don't pull up on the first day of school what? or ever in one of those 3D wolf hoodies, the galaxy hoodies, or damn, the anime damn, hoodies, bro. Damn. Like, hell no, nah, uh, bro. Oh yeah. Like Damn. they just scream, yo, I'm mussy as hell. I scare all the hoes. Damn. Boy, me, please. Damn, boy, cookie y'all. Boy, <laughs> cookie y'all. Like you don't want to end up like little bro. So please refrain from ever purchasing one of these hoodies for your own safety. Unless you really and don't they, care, they then made cheap bro. anyway. And for sure. Unless you're an ooter. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, I keep it whoa, thing. whoa, no, no, that's no, <laughs> Dude, no. Bro, we can just keep it simple with a pair of white Air Forces, Vans, or Converse. It's too basic. A little too basic. But yeah, a little, a little too, too basic. You a bit flashy, some Jordans. But try not to get wrong. It don't even have to be Jordans. Jordans to school. Like, if you have to change shoes for gym class, keep them Johns in your locker. Because, A, you never know what could happen. Some high school. I remember 
stole oh, my yeah. PSP. No, nah, you better have your locker secure. Yeah, you gotta have a lock. I remember. Yeah, look, I'm gonna tell y'all this. So I and the crazy part that they just tried to add me on Facebook. <laughs> this, I never <laughs> your arch nemesis. He had my arch nemesis. Yeah. That was cool. But I remember, like, how cool can you be after stealing somebody? Nah, it was his brother. Bro, so I had, that, that this shit scared the hell out of me. The next, that's right here. I look at the screen like, whoa. <laughs> so look, damn, how big <laughs> gonna be, Michael? Huh? Cause I'm like, well, I'm like what? Cause right there, cause. Get him out of the way. All right, there you go. Boy, you battling <laughs> demons? So, nah, peep. I had the silver PSP when it dropped, and I remember a dude was like, "Hey, bro, can I borrow it?" And I was like, "Yeah, for sure, you can borrow it." Because I'm chilling. And he was like, look, bro, I got this iPod Touch. You can have it if you let me borrow it. He was like, I'll let you have it for $20 if you let me borrow it. I was like, all right, cool. I let so him borrow You You keeping what he gave you because you paid for it. Yeah. And he borrowing the PSP. Yeah, and he was like, um, I'll give it back to you um, tomorrow. I was like, all right, cool. Because I'm, I'm chilling. Like, I got, I got a 3DS at the time. I'm cool. The PSP is just a new game in the arsenal. Right. And the next. He was like, I lost it. I said, Lost it. I like, you, I like, hell nah, bro. So, peep. A few days later, I see the playing with that hoe. I grabbed it. I said, It's mine. He's like, Nah, I just, I said, This is mine. He's like, Nah, it's not. I said, Bro, I'm keeping it. This is mine. What grade was this? I was in high school. I was a freshman. Oh, yeah. I, yeah no, yeah. I was like, I was like, Yeah, I think I was a freshman. It was, yeah, oh, freshman. Yeah, you way old enough to know. I was like, This is mine. He's like, Nah, bro, this is not the silver one. That, that, that was yours. I was like, Bro, this is my PSP. I take it. He was like, no, it's not that I, he wanted to fight me. I was like, bro, all right, cool. I'm going to call my mama. I'm going to have my mama bring the box up. We're going to check the serial number. He said, nah, bro, it's cool. After that, he was trying to be cool the rest of the year. <laughs> talking about, oh, can I get the iPad back? Uh, can can I pay you for the iPod oh, gave, Touch? Oh, it was the iPod? It was the iPod Touch. Okay. He was like, can I pay you for the iPod? I'm like, no, it's mine now. I'm keeping it. For the, tried to play me. For the rest of the year, he tried to be cool, da, da, da. Then his brother just sent me a friend. I'm not adding you, bro. <laughs> nah, not at all. Hey, you know. <laughs> Y'all try to play me, cuz. for a lick. And don't be pulling up in some goofy shoes like the mischief Big Red Moon Please, boots straight bro. from Astro Please, Boy. Don't. Cause just cause they're trending and you see celebrities. Them hoes hard. I guarantee there's one kid that's them out there that wore them jumps. Let me tell y'all something. Michael is such a terrible friend. I bought them hoes as a gift for him for his birthday and he refuses to wear them. I'm not wearing those in public. <laughs> doesn't mean you got him, man. And dude, don't be that guy that just buys a ton of reps and only wears hype beats. Like a full supreme fit like bro everybody's gonna know that they're fake and you'll just look like a cornball unless you're wearing the all black fit with the ricks then who am i to stop you and make sure the you, rick get a you don't want to have an haircut like a buzz cut or be bald now we got to talk about going to bed now bro trying to sleep the night before school oh, is no, always it's impossible. not happening it's like no nah, fact it's not, not happening also to go back to the hype beast joint i found out a kid i was going to school as an asian kid that he was wearing fakes i ain't care right i ain't and it also came out that nobody else cared because it was popular. So nobody cared. So no, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Nobody gonna really be checking you. Like, if somebody checking you like that, they're a hater. Yeah, for they, one. they they jealous or they hating yeah, or something, bro. something on the lines. Yeah, don't even, bro. Live your life. Just now, don't, if you got a if you got Jordans with Jordan doing a crossover, yeah, for sure. Or if you got some shit that's like you know what I'm saying, you wearing something that's like two or three bands. Chill. I'm like, <laughs> this leather don't smell like leather. <laughs> that shit is harder than finding a cure to cancer. And it's all due to the absolute garbage sleep schedule that most of us oh, developed yeah, during summer. Like, and you didn't want to go to sleep. Bro, you didn't want to wake up. Bro, it don't matter. You don't summer, sleep. I'd be sleeping don't. at the most illegal times, bro. Like, I'm talking 6 a.m. in the day. morning when the birds start chirping. Day. That's when I would go to sleep. To and I wouldn't day. even be doing anything important during those hours. I would either be watching be YouTube stuck. or anime or playing video games with friends. And I remember this Why one. One specific time a few years back when I was going into the ninth grade, I was trying to go to sleep early, like at around 10 p.m., right. but I just couldn't fall asleep because my sleep schedule was so f up. And I was doing the most to try to fall asleep. I went from closing my eyes to staring at the ceiling for 20 minutes to searching up a YouTube channel. Just put a ceiling fan and said 20 minutes. <laughs> bro, to fall asleep. yo, bro, I'll, sleep I, I'll never forget it was going into my uh, junior year. It was the week before school started, right? I didn't sleep for three days straight. What the hell? Is I was doing? watching Flight Twenty Nine down on YouTube. What? I watched every episode from morning to night, and I would only pause to go take take Use a shower, restroom, eat, or something. Like that that was it. I was eating in my room. Well, you I gotta was, go get it. Yeah, I go get the food, but I would go take a shower, 
Breast month he go and I was that's for three days. Psycho. That next day Psycho. school started. We was watching a psychopathic documentary. Michael, hit all, Michael hit all of them. Michael hit all of them. Then the craziest part, we watched the autistic one, and I'm telling you, Mike, crazy. bro, you, you Mike, got to go. No, Mike, fuck, what? fuck that. Yeah, now, now you being uh, defensive. Stop. I'm staring at the viewing again, to searching up a one hour space documentary to get me tired enough to fall asleep. And no. yes, I actually did this, and it didn't even work at all. I watched the full one hour documentary, and it was around so 5 a.m. at that music. point, and I still couldn't fall asleep. So I just kind of threw my phone across the room and just stared at the ceiling, and eventually I fell asleep at 6 a.m. I had to get to school to get at 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? Damn, that's cool. That's late. That's what time good. did you get out of school? Like two? I remember, I remember. It couldn't have been two. I remember growing up. He High said school. ninth grade. It couldn't. He had man. What? I'll never forget growing up, like in Atlanta. They used to get out of school at two p.m. And they, what time did they go in? They went in at like eight. Damn. They bro. boy. They we to, went in. We went into school at, at seven twenty and didn't get out till and three. And got out at two fifty five. That's high school over here. At least they tell. Bro, what the. F so I got three hours of sleep and those three hours zoomed by so Nine fast like it was three minutes. And I went to my first day of high school tired as hell. Yeah, do not follow my footsteps, bro. Now we gotta talk about what happens on the first day of school. Now, not gonna lie, the first day of school is always boring as hell. You basically just get to you your homeroom class nothing, really. and your teacher gives you a whole summary yeah. of their backstory. Like, why are we getting a lore job? We didn't ask for that. Facts. They'll usually make the entire class do an icebreaker. Like, I don't think there's a single person in the world that actually enjoys icebreakers. Like, they're always so awkward and i don't think anybody gives a shit about it's what always that one extrovert that super extrovert chick See, you gonna find out. You gonna see her. any you fun facts see like keeping it a stack i'm just waiting for the clock to turn to 3 p.m so i could dip and your teacher would typically hand out everyone's schedule and i would take a picture of my schedule because i would always end up losing my schedule somehow or facts. it would just get completely crumpled up in my backpack Destroy. and some students would take a picture of their schedule and make it their lock screen which works as well because dude finding your classes at first is the most confusing ever like i used to have bro i never forget, I got in trouble first day of school because I was late to class. You were late, you couldn't I'm like, I'm like, this is my first day here. You know what pissed me off about what? our high school? When they got rid of the damn lockers. That was the coolest Wait, part. Wait, you had lockers? I had lockers ninth grade. Bro. Oh, by the time when you got there, they was go Bro, that was the coolest part because you see like Nez Declassified or whatever other shows. Bro, I was robbed. Show <laughs> show I was robbed of that. I bro. That bro, going to stop it at the locker, bro. It, it you don't really have to, but the fact that we can is like, nigga, fucking fucking nigga, what I'm saying? Man. Unless you was on the bottom, the bottom kind of suck. I yeah. was robbed. Okay, bro. I was on top though. You know what I'm saying, gang, gang. <laughs> it was so it's like you're walking around a maze aimlessly, but eventually you get used to it and, and remember then, where your class. They didn't take the lockers down. Yeah, you, you can just take, take them down and f give us more space in the hallway. No, yeah. they're just empty lockers, just sitting there. Are, and your teacher will assign you a locker. Now at my school, a lot of people didn't use their lockers. They just yeah. around with their back. But we still got assigned lockers, and the locker I got assigned, I kid you not, had Pennywise made with chewed up gum in it. Bro, wow. what the f Yeah, bro, I legit got assigned clutch, Davy Jones locker, bro. Like, that I don't know who would so even dedicate their time to making that. Because it looked like they put a lot of effort into making it. And best believe, that just gave me a greater incentive to not use my locker. And just like all these movies you see, where they chit chatting at the locker, the you got the friend groups and hollering at girls. It's just, I swear to God. And they got rid of them, bro. Man. And just the player tip to the menaces out there, just chill, bro. And don't cause anybody issues, including other students and oh, yeah, teachers. Nah. Just stay like, to yourself, these days, I just see videos on social media of students for acting real. crazy disrespectful to teachers to the point where they start fighting the teacher or they just quit their job. Just chill, mind your business. Like, My, we gotta damn. start respecting teachers more because they're just normal people like you and I. And they don't get paid much. They don't, you know yeah, they don't get paid enough to do it. Shouldn't be disrespected to the point where they just no quit their jobs. Like, I feel like we need teachers more than ever, especially with how people in younger generations go, go, seem to be getting dumber and dumber <laughs> as the years pass by. And this includes being respectful or well, nice to other to students as well. Like, you don't want to be that one ass kid that no one likes you're just gonna end up with no friends and your high school experience is gonna be lonely and mid and a good way to meet people is through joining a club and coming join from someone who did you join any club like nah, not not like football no nah, only thing i did was football night great other than i wasn't doing it i didn't do it. i did theater i did band i did football what else i did, I did if they got something you like do it i was doing it. i remember i was in like the computer class i didn't know what the fuck i was doing i was in <laughs> <laughs> this is in that joint. Boy, 
Then it was like it was an anime club, but I was like, nah, y'all niggas get beat up. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas get beat you up. Not group of people, y'all. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I I'm already y'all. fighting. I yeah. ain't, I ain't about to get. <laughs> Yeah, to bring me to level two damage. In the back of my mind, I kind of wish I committed to at least one club. Because who knows? I could have made an extra friend through the club or experienced something I've never yeah, done nah, before. If they got it's not like I was doing join, much of my free it. time at home anyways. And on the topic of making friends, try to make at least one friend in every class. Because it's going to be rough just sitting through so. your classes, not facts. talking to anybody. That's You're just going to end up hating your classes more. And making friends in them will make the classes more bearable. <laughs> and if you really want to get good grades and be on top of your in school you should try to incorporate a routine around school i ain't gonna hold you i just remember there was a chick she was a year older than me right i think shorty name was sydney jenkins yellow bone right so pete it was this tall it was spanish it was this tall, very confident whatever he wrote shorty a note he was like ah right, can i get you, get your number whatever Ooh. me at the time i'm like nigga that's lame right because like you tall, you act all confident and shit. Yeah. And she was like, no. And I was like, hey. And she was like, what? I was like, I want your number. Can I have it? She was like, yeah, sure. And Aww. I just looked at him. I was like, she did that to piss you off, but I won. I did some, I did some lame like one of the middle school, one of the middle grade. It was either sophomore or junior. Had I had computer class with this chick sat next to her because we was in alphabetical order. We was always talking, right? No, 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 look, 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 look. This the I got the number. Okay. I had it. Yeah. We I had a phone. It went straight to the phone. I did some lame because I rode the bus home with my homeboys. What you think I did? What'd you do? I wrote the number on my hand. Just so I knew he would see it and be like, oh, you got it. <laughs> I just, I had, I, I, I was, and it worked. Is the crazy part. Because oh, he was older. He was, he was like a senior. <laughs> Damn, boy. Hey, it worked though. This is more so for high school and university students, cause if you're in elementary or middle school, bro, just chill and relax, man. You're Enjoy still at the age where school doesn't oh, really yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. It's only when you get to high school where you should start to care more about school and grades. But you should try to create a schedule to manage your time wisely. He telling and this the truth. is kind of hypocritical facts. coming from me, cause my did not have or follow a schedule. At I all. would just constantly procrastinate assignments, homework, Every and day. studying to the last minute. That's why you like this right now. Day, you feel what? Like what? Like the way you are, what you're not you good at following schedule. You're not good at making Shit. schedule. You're not doing nothing. Yes. Like, bro, Mike is terrible. Like, we supposed to follow the schedule. I do. I'm, do great I'm great at schedule. I'm great at schedule. I was, bro. Ten years. I'm always school. good at schedules. Mike, on the other hand, so why, always so late. Why do neither always one of us late. Have one? Bro, because my schedule is based on the fact you don't have a. Schedule. <laughs> you don't have a schedule either. Yes, I, you, I can. You, you because of like, you, crazy, I cannot have a schedule. Crazy guys, bro. Like, we were supposed. We, like, we were supposed to film today. That's crazy. We were supposed to film today at like. 12 o'clock. Mike didn't show up till 3. I streamed, beat the game, took it out. No, see, you twisting the narrative. I were we not? Late, were we not supposed to be here at 12? I woke up late. Yes. But I I would have showed him immediately. You said you were streaming. So I'm like, I'm going to let him stream, and I'll be there about around the time he should end. Bro, heck so, no. Come on that, now. Heck no. Come on I now. Said, I told I you said, what I got here. But look, look. Anyway, when I called him, anyway, mind you, look, 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 look. Types of kids. Look, nah, nah, nah. Oh, look, 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 look. Because he's trying, he trying to change the narrative. I'm not when I called Mike, I called Mike at 1 o'clock. I know it was like 2, one, two o'clock. It was like 1 o'clock. It was supposed to be. You supposed to be here at noon. I, I, I call said, you. I, I say. Just, I say. I say. Where you at? Mind you, the night before, I'm like, so what time we record? It's like, oh yeah, we it gotta be twelve. We gotta be early because I gotta pick up me. I say, all right, cool. Story. Shut up, Michael. No, anyway, so this is. And there's a lot of questionable places on Earth, like the Bermuda Triangle or Area 51, or even this place. But none Back of homes. these places can compare to the questionability of high school. And Facts. so inevitably, there's some weird kids in that joint. Like, you gotta be of careful course. who you talk to, bro. Because you approach Facts. the wrong student and sh getting cussed out by a pack of hyenas and so And you just class. ruined. And usually, I never care what other people do. Like, you do you, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, when I gotta sit through that sh for six hours a day, five days a week. Six? Six. six. Damn, lucky. Six. lucky. He was in that joint for eight. eight. 
Eight hours. Stop doing you for like five minutes, bro. And speaking of annoying kids, there's always that one kid in class who's constantly gargling on the teacher's meat. Like for so sure. the last class That's on true. a Friday, and of course the teacher's pets gotta say some sh like, Mr. Cumminson, is there no homework for us to complete over the weekend? Oh, well, 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 no. Uh, believe it or not, I'd rather not spend my weekend marking your. Sh Little essay. Damn. Don't worry, I Mr. Mean, that's real. I can help you mark essays all weekend long. Shut whoa, up. whoa, whoa, whoa. I remember one of them kids got beat up. Policy? Well, what's against school policy? Riding Mr. Cumminson's dick with no license. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're not allowed to swear. And of course, <laughs> you're not the class clown. And man, I really just gotta commend him for his work. Like, it's not an easy job being the class clown. For so. throw his entire GPA, future, and probably got his whooped on multiple occasions just What's to up? keep the class entertained like i'll be Gee, rotting I'm in not english class. i had mostly honors classes and there wasn't really class cl it was more like everybody the teachers was more like cool with everybody yeah, but in know. in the regular classes the teachers was like more assholes, but there was always a class clown i ain't gonna hold you i hated honors classes i genuinely hate it i i made them move me to regular courses because in all of my honors classes, I was the, the only, only black, black kid. The, the and I'm only. talking, but they were in a, the thing that got me. Every kid in honors was rich. And I'm talking a lot of. I'm like, ain't none of y'all. Some reason my grade had a lot of black honors kids for some I, reason, bro. There were a lot, but none of them were in oh, my class. class. I'm like, yeah, I'm the only. Dirty. I'm the only poor one in here. That's now. <laughs> about to fall asleep until the class clown starts cooking the teacher for no apparent reason. And next, we're looking at adjectives. Uh, does anyone have any good examples? Yeah, uh, Jason. Uh, bald as sh oh, Well, shit. no. That's actually three words. No, no, no. I wasn't even using an example. You're just so goddamn bald, Yo, it's distracting. Hey, you know what they say. The more hair I lose, the more head I get. Stop <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think hair. that's true, what Mr. The... Clean. Because you got more hair <laughs> than Boy, you got hose. And that says a lot with your Kai you looking at. <laughs> Oh, boy, cry. Go to detention, nah, man. let that and be one of the you coaches. Know, you get roasted back. Boy, you what? You get roasted bro. back. Now, don't be deceived. Redditors can come in all shapes and sizes, uh, especially oh, the extra large size. We and, uh, and even the extra, extra damn, large damn. size. But Jesus. regardless, they all have the same program. We had the ones that looked like Discord mods, but it wasn't that. It wasn't established like that back then. Being encoded so, into their we, brains. They're either talking about a video game or they're quoting a meme, bro. And I got a little bro. piece of advice to any redditors out there i don't care how funny that may be in your head if you have to verbally describe what a meme looks like for mm -hmm. your sake just don't say it bro so. because i promise you that joke will not hit so. and next up we got darren presenting a slideshow on 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 why elon musk is is poggers uh yeah uh wh whenever you're ready what a gamers me standing in front of the class waiting to present <laughs> you, you know that meme where bro it's like, really <laughs> people <laughs> like yes. that it's the, ri they live in the cringe bro jesus the Kuzowski is standing there and then oh go work your cringe now to five i'll be game we're fast right, but buddy gets get your money up you can buy the games you want with his his hands by his side and he's got like two eyes <laughs> Now, there really is levels to being a Redditor. And don't get me wrong, they're not all that bad, but the ones that got that mm -hmm. I paused my game to be here T paired up with the beer belly neck beard combo, one. That, 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 that sh yeah. is lethal. And if you press E to interact with one of these bad boys, you'll get stuck in an endless now time they got some cool ones. Among Us memes and hell. Now, the band kids are like the Redditor's second cousin. Like, like it's all the same sh but but bro just knows how to play a tuba. Bro, the, uh, yeah. the, it was so, bro. Me trans like versing through high school was so weird because it was no place I fit. Like, I fit with a lot of chameleon, bro. Nah, because like the nerd, the band, I hated. Them. Oh, yeah, I didn't eat flat in the middle of the <laughs> I'm like, I'm just here to play a saxophone again. <laughs> there was always the hybrid, though. There was always the band kid that was cooler than most of the band kids, but they was also a little nerdy, but they kind of could like. But I was a hybrid of a hybrid, bro. I hated that. Now, on the opposite side of the spectrum, we got the dudes who touch grass. The athletes. Now, I feel like these the, dudes got a bad bro. reputation when it comes to the jock stereotypes from the movies. Because the ratio of athletes shoving nerds in lockers is, is probably like 1 in 75. And the one was was most likely just having a bad day. Speaking of bad days, getting no, shoved no, in a locker I, really no, has a way. I ain't never seen no movie bullying. Yeah, I ain't really. never seen... I seen one incident, and then his leg kicked in. 
the bully? Yes. Yeah, that's what he get. They are ruining get. your day, and you really got to feel bad for the nerds who have to endure this type of harassment every single day. Well, actually, it's only every other Tuesday after their football okay, practice. Buddy. Yeah, but you shouldn't have to be okay, shoved in buddy. a locker at all. You you shouldn't have to be. That's grammatically incorrect. Close it's the actually locker room, man. You shouldn't Shut the <laughs> There's really just three types of smart people. The first dude, right. you wouldn't even be able to tell bro Can't smart because he's all. just lazy as f he be acing every test using one percent of his there brain power like he's got that bro i used to get in trouble for all i remember one teacher i fell asleep in her class right because i didn't care to be here and none of my class when they pulled me out of honors or i was like all right cool now i cannot try it, yeah it was very easy i uh, went to honestly. i was going to sleep right because mind you i don't want to i did not want to be in high school did not i never forget this one teacher was like Aaron, you're never going to be anything in life if you keep falling asleep in class. And I looked at her. <laughs> falling asleep. I looked at her and I was like, I'm going to do what I want. And she sent me to the office. <laughs> and I went back. The next day we had a test. And her first thing she said was, Mr. Jones, let's see how you do because all you do is sleep in class. I said, okay, cool. Got a 93 on the test. She sent me to the office and said I was cheating. What the hell? But this is the craziest part. She was swearing up and down I was cheating off of somebody around me. Everybody else around me got a lower grade. You want to know the greatest part about this story? I saw her about six months ago. She was like, oh, Mr. Jones, how you doing? I was like, very successful. Remember I fell asleep in class? I was like, I'm great now. I was like, how are you? She was like, oh, finding a new career path. I said, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. yeah. You know. Mm. At Elon Musk potential, but sh he just doesn't really feel like being a billionaire today. Or on the other hand, we got the weirdly political and argumentative smart Facts. Dude. This guy used up all his IQ points on logic no and social, reasoning and zero social awareness. To upgrade his zero. social awareness. Because this is the kind of guy that everyone mutually agrees Jesus is just Christ. annoying as f Just talking, 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 talking. Just talking. going! If you sit there and listen to some shit that's going on around you, you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like you can't do shit around this. This boy here about this to say dude, something. Without him trying to start an argument. Yo, Chains, you think I sink this half court shot? <laughs> Bro, there is no chance you make that. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, you are incorrect. No chance in the probability. That blah, 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 blah. There is a zero percent chance that it goes in, which is wrong, as others have made this exact shot before. See, Billy. this right here is what gets you bullied. This right, I've never, I've you. never experienced somebody like this. I've seen one. Truthfully, there's a chance for just about anything to happen, even you know though hit them with the ball. Maybe I've experienced them outside of school, like as adults, and it's like shut the f shut up. Oh yeah, shut oh up. yeah, for sure. Shut up, bro. Well, well, that's but I ain't never think they were smart. I just thought they were. They just know, like know it all. Nah, for I real, just bro. thought they were artistic. Oh, artistic, yeah. artistic. Artistic. No, 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 no. I've experienced. You can tell the difference between somebody that's like autistic versus somebody that's just annoying as fuck. That's cap, because there's no chance for you, bro. N no chance for me to what? You got to be more specific. For, for you, you to, to get, get some, some And yeah. some people are just smart, and they still have the ability to be a normal functioning exactly. member of society. A lot of these people are chill as fuck. Like, so? they can teach you don't understand carry you in group projects and if they're goaded they can just bless you with the homework and this is not the same as getting your homework from the class clown or the athlete because yeah, this shit is that. actually correct and Fact, next do we got the all. other dudes who touch grass the stoners <laughs> oh damn Bro, well, why are you looking at me? There's always a dude posted up in the back of the class who. Bro, I would never understand. In high school, it used to be really fucked up, yeah. and I would be like effed up, selling the shit. Always got. I'm like, I really don't like y'all. Cause I'm, why are you doing? Why, I'm like, bro? Why ain't no way in hell your life this bad That's already? <laughs> ain't no, bro. Like, what bro the point? I never, like, bro. I'm living in a trailer park. <laughs> like, not that bad, bro. Like, what's wrong, nigga? Oh, Visually fried as I'll never forget the first I'm in the gym Pull a handful of I'm like what, 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 Pills <laughs> Nah I'll this? never forget I was in English I was in honors English And this one I was like Yeah I need to get out of here Because one day It was a dude He's a rap artist now mm, um, or Of course He's like uh, He's like He's like Middle Eastern Right Right Middle East. Wow okay And he was like He was He, he wants to pass as Hispanic He's not Hispanic He's Middle Eastern but he was in the back of the room just like, I'm like, what the f going on? And he started throwing up lime green. 
look uh, it, it looked like Gatorade and he was just throwing up and it was like uh, it was like what's wrong? And one of the dudes was like, Oh, he smoked some fake weed and I was like, Ah, uh, what? And then um the teacher brought him to the nurse office and it went down this whole rabbit hole of how everyone else in honors was doing. Wow. There were people doing Adderall. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no way in hell y'all taking this this seriously. Exactly. School rules are absurd. Now, in my humble opinion, I believe that school's the closest thing that I will ever experience to okay. being in a federal prison. But I can't so, help but think that those true. felons still have more freedom than most students. It be seeming are, like it now with all these damn sure. cells. All, all, they, all they missing is women. Facts. Control us more than Jim Henson and the Muppets. A lot of these school rules are so futile and bring my mood lower than SS Sniper Wolf standards. So to that. Wow. Violation. She broke up with him, though. She's no longer tied to that sausage. Hey, bro, what's up, Sniper? What's up, cuz? You know what I'm saying I can, we could be rich together, baby. I can add a dynamic no, to your no, no, reactions no, 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 that no. you ain't never. We could be rich together. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be discussing the dumbest school rules and the dilemmas that they induce for students. All right, Comment big, down man. below the okay, dumbest school G, rule and G like grindy. subscribe if you're new. First, we gotta talk about the bell doesn't dismiss you. I, I dismiss you. I, you just use this bro, phrase from the shack. The bell dismiss me because I can't be late to the next class. Exactly. I'm gonna get in trouble by the principal. For show. Damn. This is icy hot. I don't understand what their predilection is with quoting this every day bro like there would be 30 seconds left to class and the entire class will start putting their stuff away apparently by uh, doing this it triggers a spermatic doing? reaction in most teachers minds like mixing vinegar and baking soda talking about don't pack up yeah we still have 30 seconds left to class my you better start lecturing like donnie thornberry because once that bell rings i'm leaving this classroom quicker than deadbeat dads leave to get milk like i'm getting wow. out this room faster than baby mamas when they find out the man is the father but then they got the nerve to say the bell doesn't dismiss you i do is the point of the bell this For is sure. truly the most controlling thing that teachers try to do bro it's not my fault you couldn't get your languorous ass lesson plan done mm. in time but you're mm. not gonna prohibit me from leaving like you're gandalf or something bro because i don't know about y'all but we only had a five minute passing period meaning that if a teacher held up oh yeah six yeah like five or six five or six it was in a big campus campus huge club that bro, bro main hallway bro you ain't making it you better go around the most piss off thing is having a class in a hall, and then having a class outside in one in the of the science, P's, yeah, it is the yeah. science mouth. But I'm like, man, this is a trick. <laughs> I feel sorry for the uh, uh, the military. What you call it? Uh, uh, ROTC. ROTC. Yeah, Bro. that boy. Just after class, our time was getting cut into more than the deep dish pizza. Now I got to give college level explanations on why I'm late to my next class. Now we gotta talk about having to raise your hand. This is by far the most moronic rule at school, bro. Why, why the hell do I why? have to raise my hand like I'm auctioning for a painting or something? They act like it's a federal offense if you speak without raising your hand. Like, I get that we need to have some type of order in the courtroom, but for this sure. shit is too far. But, but what would what would your solution be? I feel like raising the hand is like the most... I feel like that's not that bad. Yeah, okay. that's not that bad to me. The worst part about this heinous ritual is having to ask to go to the bathroom. I feel like this takes away our basic now human rights. that... I, like, boy... Once, once again, I don't feel like that's unrealistic, because, like... You not just you get up and just walk out. It's gonna no. be like where the so, fuck are you going? so so like <laughs> I, I get it, but the thing is, I hate when I ask to go to the bathroom and you're like no you yeah can't. then when you say some bull like when you like come on now bro <laughs> the fact that we need permission like we're ten years old trying to make a club penguin account is absurd and then when you ask them if you can go to the bathroom they always try to be clever and say I don't can know you? can you my nigga about to pull off my best R Kelly and that's the may you teachers man yeah. Yeah, person yeah. if you don't let me go to the bathroom and then they got the nerve to say why didn't you go during lunch I didn't have to go four hours ago what the f and the few chances we're allowed to go Thank to the bathroom, you. we had to take this bathroom pass that was soggier than a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. Now we gotta talk about no hats and hoods. If you tried to wear a hat or hood in the school, the teacher treated the situation like you're a five star criminal in GTA. That's so yeah, true. That's junkie like George Jesus. Sanderson and Monsters. Never Man. understood that one. The moment you walk to the school with your hat or hood on, they would be on your ass like the fuck Avengers. They really treated this shit like a level 10 threat, bro. Like teachers would literally sit back and watch people duke it out like Peter and Ernie. <laughs> God forbid a student has a on they're gonna need backup troops like the damn SWAT so, team or something. Bro. They claim it's because it hides our faces and make us harder to identify. I see y'all five times a week. You know who I am. But another <laughs> issue that comes with this how the f getting in there with the boots? The book bookas. The oodas. The do 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 doodas. Obviously the hat ain't hiding them. And then the, now they got the clear backpack rule type Bro, because when niggas get the little bill tree man get their hair chopped like a pine tree. I remember a kid came to class with a hat on and my teacher decided she wants to tarnish this Entire image and make him Damn. take it off. What I had witnessed next would make a grown man cry. This n the Elmer Fudd number one Lex Luthor special, bro. That got flame more than a shish kebab. No student should have to be put through this type of indignity, bro. But there are just some days where I want to be comfortable and have my hood up like Kenny McCormick. Facts, you just want to like, cause you feel like, you know what I'm saying? You feel good in the hood. Facts, it just, bro, it just feels good. Cold as hell in my school too. But we can't even bundle up like an Eskimo because we'll be aggrieved by our teachers. Plus the 
who are trying to wear their shiesty mask to nah, school like they got crazy. ops in third period that's or something. Crazy. Well, if you don't take that shit off, now we gotta talk about not being able to eat or chew gum in class. This rule irks me to my f***ing soul, bro. My teachers would have a damn buffet of food at their desk, feasting on their s*** they're at Golden Corral or something. But I can't eat a That's granola. what I liked about honors. They let us bring them RTC boy. snacks up in that. We eating them cinnamon rolls. Them, hey, I was munching, boy. I ain't gonna lie. When the teachers found out I was a football student, they didn't give a like about nothing Barring my little vice Without getting scolded bro They think we're gonna make A bigger mess Than those mukbang YouTubers that, Who did whoa. every possible object And cheese and I'm not saying We should be able to have Platters of food Like an nah, uncle yeah, At a barbecue a cookout But a couple of snacks Wouldn't hurt anybody And since school decides On starting earlier Than the big bang I wouldn't eat breakfast And my stomach would be Left emptier than Ed's skull But this is one of the main Favorite 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 School like meal Like uh, the, I, Give the, me the, breakfast the, and lunch Like if you could bring Anything to like today the breakfast was when they when Chick Fil A brought the biscuits. Okay, that was your favorite. And then lunch was the chicken fried steak. Okay, so chicken fried steak. That boy look, and the pizza boy, man, look, Jesus look, Christ! If I could bring anything from school no, to them, life, them it'd be chicken a, sandwiches. They had the chicken sandwich. If I could bring, if I could bring anything from school to life today, the breakfast pizza. Boy, that breakfast. The square pizzas. Yes. Yeah. I love yeah. them joints And then yeah. it was the two versions It was the one with the country gravy Then it was another one with like pizza sauce What? Now it gave me like the taste Ooh! The taste reminded me like It's one of those taste and smells That like it wasn't necessarily nasty But I just don't like to smell it Cause it's like I don't know it brings you back to a certain time It's just it's I just like <laughs> Like, ugh, was ugh. good. This is why I would always try to sit at the back of class. I was smuggling food into class like I was part of the cartel or something. We also weren't allowed to chew gum, which might be even more reprehensible. But I yeah, can kind of understand gum, why it's such a desk. nuisance because oh, there was yeah, more yeah, gum yeah, stuck yeah, to yeah, the bottom yeah. of desk than bats in a cave, bro. But as long as hooligans and actually throwing their gum away, then chewing gum should be permitted in class. Now we gotta talk about having to get a pass if you come to class late. Now look, if you're pulling up to class a decade late, then you should be required to get a tardy pass. But there would be times where I would come in 30 seconds after the bell rings and the teacher would put on their best Karen role playing set. <laughs> bro. Why are you late? Why are you? I'm barely late. Come I, on, bro. The bell just rang. Can't the you see I'm, I'm rushing pass. to get here? She would literally lock the door the moment the bell rang. So now oh, I hated, I hated them. I hated them. This Boudreaux old I ass. I'm them. glad you did. Oh, I'm glad her old ass dead. Stop being job level moves. You old ass. I hope you rotting in hell, she bitch. I hope your grandson, your husband, you, you old ass. Jesus bro, Christ. she wrote me up for. Bro, somebody sneezed. She said, she somebody sneezed. I said, bless you. She said, stop sneezing and don't talk in class. Whoa. And I, I said. What? <laughs> she said, huh? go to the office. Stop sneezing and don't talk. It. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, said, yeah. when I said what, she kicked me out of class. I went off. That's crazy. I, That's bro, insane. there's only two teachers I ever went off on. Miss Boudreaux and a soccer teacher. I went off on Miss Boudreaux. I was like, you old raggedy. <laughs> It was like, eh. was like, eh. I was like, I'm gonna say what everybody wants to say. We hate you, you old. That's crazy. Oh, boy. Trying to get to class in time. Now, to add some context, in order to get a tardy pass, you have to go to the main desk and tell them your yep. name for a lunch yep. attention, yep. and they'll give you a pass. But if I've learned oh. one thing in life is that rules are meant to be broken. I'm not missing my lunch period for being 30 seconds late. So I told them the name was Shay Cat. Lunch detention? Nah. Let's skip that motherfucking attention. I also had a teacher nah. who would give lunch detentions if you weren't sitting in your seat when lunch the bell rang. Because we have less morals at home. Starving. Now we gotta talk about having to wear school uniforms. Now, if you've seen uh, this video, then you're already aware of the absolutely arbitrary and absurd ensemble that niggas school, are yeah. rocking yeah, to school. And as much as these are dressing like circus acts and look like special guests on the episode of Sesame Street, I'd rather deal with that. Oh, he just violated that life. <laughs> <laughs> and have to wear college shirts and khakis every day. I also don't know why schools think that if a guy sees a girl's shoulder or leg, then we start drooling out yeah. our mouths like a fucking oh. animal, bro. But anyway, my middle school really has looking like <laughs> low budget a cult, bro. Everybody walking around wearing the same thing like we cloned each other. And that ass looked like someone had used the double team move in Pokemon, bro. Now I was blessed enough to only have school uniforms in elementary and middle school, but my days were just To me, it fit that we didn't we didn't have them in elementary, which was cool. We had them in middle, which was cool, and then we didn't in high school. But I feel like that fit for yeah. when I was in school. Middle, we needed to have them because yeah. everybody wanted to be a thug. Yeah, they all. want bro. What? But I, hate, but I hate five it. nine who they they was me me me. I'm standing on the wall like what the. <laughs> Wait, is the, what? The, what's the day? They're like, oh, it's it's the Crips day. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, my, oh my god. 
was on a bike. Mike was I in was the in streets. The middle school was in the hood. Uh, elementary was too, but everybody was innocent. But damn. Just as daunting as you would imagine. We didn't have to wear suit and ties every day like some office workers or anything. We just had to wear our school colors and our IDs had to be worn around our necks at all times. Yeah. My drip just felt so limited. It felt like I was playing the box like FedEx, bro. Now we gotta talk about no running in the hallway. Now in my video that's no the troubles of school no hallways, need. I eat through the the hallway like the f***ing Olympics. But sometimes yeah, no we gotta to cosplay run. a sonic because our classes are on the other side of the school, Facts. bro. And like I described earlier, if you were late to class, you would get sent to the gulag. They don't even let you run during fire drills, but that's a story for a different day. Like, I'm not... Yeah, that... Well, you can't because it's gonna be too much disorder. Yeah, but... Man, look. Now, the hallway should turn now if your class is on fire, <laughs> your actual... Yeah! <laughs> or football, PE. We had to we run. had to run. Because the, the field house was way far across the parking lot. So we literally had to bell ring every football player in that period just, and they're like, oh, what they running for? Football. It's a best buy on Black Friday. But if you're running late, you should be able to do the dash a little bit, bro. Now we gotta talk about no phones you or- You know what's insane? You know how we said we had five, six minutes? We had, for football P, we had five, six minutes to get there, and get change. dressed, and be in the weight room. That means run I across them no niggas, matter bro. where you was in the campus. I hated them. Run niggas. across the school. Of fact, that's why none of you, none of you football coaches are anywhere you wanted to be that's in life. Crazy. That's crazy. Oh, you a principal now? You still a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that using your phone during class could be seen as disrespectful, but we should be able to at least listen to music while doing work or something, bro. If my teachers saw your phone out, they would stick their dingy hand out and expect you to give it to them. I've seen them snatch his desk like a fucking owl too, bro. And if you were lucky, you would get it back at the end of class. But if your teacher is the devil incarnate, then they might send it to the office and your parent or guardian has to come pick it up. It doesn't get much more federal than that, bro. They wouldn't even let us use them when we were waiting at the door to leave. Now we gotta talk about homework. My teachers would give us more paper than Warren Buffett. And then they expect us to have that shit quick as hell and it didn't matter what was going on in your life i know you got six other classes but i need three papers need, thank you <laughs> stupid the only thing that you just said you why we don't need the papers funeral, bro. but the concept of homework is something that will forever be fun to me like we spend eight hours a day learning information and then spin our face and give us an extra two hours of work to take home mm -hmm. like just when you think you're done with a long ass that you see another assignment in google classroom like these teachers that they were yoda oh, talking I about there is another and then they wonder why they're unconscious at their desk all the time it's because y'all give the Terms right. and conditions as home. Now we gotta talk about assigned seats. God bless the teachers who pick their own seats, but for the ones who pick seats for their students, your time has come. Bro, I all I'm trying to do is sit next to my. <laughs> I I would much rather like let us pick the seat and we just keep the seat that we pick. Bro, bro, that I hated. This is like I hated wearing glasses in high school. Right, right. I'm Jones, so in most of my classes, I was always in the back, talking. <laughs> Aaron. Oh, they did y'all alphabetically. Yeah, yeah, stupid. stupid. My homies didn't get to this class, but now I'm sitting next to the most ominous and horrific individuals, bro. And my teachers have some type of sick obsession with giving me front row seats like we're at AMC theaters or something, bro. And I don't know about y'all, but I used to get my seat changed every other week. But if I'm being honest, if you never had your seat moved at least once, then you haven't lived for real. They thought that moving Damn. me away from my friends would keep us from cracking jokes Dang. when in reality it's not. Funnier. But having a signed seat on the first day is the academic version of Russian roulette, especially when you don't know anybody. I don't get why teachers don't just let us pick our own seat all the time. Like they must think it's gonna turn to arm again or something, bro. They want us to get to know each other and make new friends like this is Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. I always get the short end of the stick when it comes to assigned seats, bro. My teachers put me through more tribulations than an alcoholic's liver. Damn. But I think that's gonna wrap everything up for this video. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like now that I think about it, I realize why I genuinely hated school. Like. School, the basis of school is how well you can follow the rules. Basically. Like, how good, how can, good you can you listen? be a good little boy? Yeah, and girl. like, I didn't, like, no, nah, I want to do this my way. That's why I'm in the field I'm in now. Because I'm doing what I want to do. <laughs> <Okay. Buddy. laughs> hey, no, nah, think about it, bro. It is. It's but... School is all about how good can you be And they follower. still don't teach you nothing. Not a damn thing. Jesus. Losers. Uh, the All right. Dreaded this is riding bus. the school Everyone bus. Knows what it is. Oh, no we not gonna lie, our bus is lit. Those who don't know, a school bus is the fun. Did we ride the same bus? Nah. How? Cause you're. I don't know how. We, we should have. We, we definitely should have. Yeah. We, bus that Cause you lived every area that you lived in. We stopped that by. Yeah. We should have, but we didn't. We For never. Students from home to. Did school. you ride it with Matthew? Mm. -mm. Oh, yeah, even when I stayed up the street from y'all, I didn't ride the bus. You stayed you. up the street both times, two times, two different yeah. places. And I never yeah. rode the bus. And the craziest part, I rode the bus with DJ. We rode the bus with DJ. So we had to ride the same nah, bus. Nah, no shot. We rode the bus with DJ I'm, and Devontae. 
Devontae wasn't on my bus, but DJ was on my bus. We was all on the. We picked up. The, I remember vividly. DJ or, used. Yes, we. Yeah. DJ DJ rode yeah. my bus because DJ DJ used to get off. Oh wait, 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 wait. We might not have. Yeah, we DJ, might not have. DJ rode our bus. Yeah, yeah, we might not have. Okay, okay, Home okay, okay. Or okay, to okay, school okay, sponsored okay. events. So now that we have that out of the way, picture this: you wake up, it's six in the morning. You have thirty minutes to out get there up, early. Brush your face, brush your teeth, and to get out of the house. You have to be up at five thirty. Yeah, bus stop. Because everyone knows how it feels to do the dreaded walk. And we was first. Bro. Like we were literally Bro. the first. No, the worst part when you live far from the school. You have to wake up earlier than everybody else. And we didn't even live that far. It wasn't even that far. This over here, I'm saying like we still over there. But <laughs> this PTSD is crazy. <laughs> this over here, bro, when you lived over there, you had to be up early, bro. Max, Jesus. Come shame to your parents' room and wake them up because you didn't miss the bus. Ma. Ma. Boy, Luckily, what do you want? I ain't I never missed. I ain't switching. never missed. I just got done working a double. Can, can you take me to school? I, I missed the bus. What? I said I missed the bus. Jamar Young, Lamarcus, Quantavian, Damn. Phillips, Johnson, Damn. the second, the third. How in the world did you miss the bus? A squirrel stepped on my brand new forces. And me and him got to throw it in. <laughs> Caught his gang of squirrels. And then after that. Boy, I don't want to hear all of that. Next time you miss that bus, you're going to be walking to school. The bleach. But if you do end up making it on the bus, Damn. then don't plan on trying to get any extra sleep before you get to school because nah, it ain't I happening. So I you did. might as well nah, remove forget that, that. idea. Nah, 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 like, when you, when you on the old ones, you not sleeping. Bro, I, when you were yeah. on the newer ones, I'm in that Bro, I was, my head was on. Bro, I never forget when they upgraded <laughs> us to the new ones. Or the t I'm, I'm in, your head. in that joint. No Rocky. Mm. You step foot on the school bus And it was you, even better because we was first You have to come up with a decision on where you're going to sit You, you was a back or front sitter Like middle uh, Yeah middle like was middle. always a yeah. shit Back was the hood yeah. was always in some shit oh. Shorties You know what I'm saying like Getting head in the front of the bus I was like You're crazy he, I'm like this Oh, Getting the, the front of the bus Front of the bus was Middle I'm cooling in the middle I always I would always be Left side in the middle, cause I'm not seeing the school. I'm seeing the world. You feel me? This headphones on, chilling. <laughs> this fool here. All the degenerates and the future lifelong McDonald's employees are. Then you're at a liability of getting hit in the crossfire of hornets. You got the most mm -hmm. absolute worst trash music mm -hmm. playing on full blast. It's about five seconds. I don't away need to be back there. I'm sleeping. Eardrums. The back of the bus is bouncing up yeah, and down like a show. low rider with hydraulics because the goofy blast in the music is literally using a boombox mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. have set up at a DJ's mm -hmm. booth at a nightclub. Then you got the same hot Cheeto eating delinquent that I mentioned in my Tyson <laughs> students in high school video. Make Sure, y'all check that video out. By the way, Dang, she's in the back screaming and hollering at the I never forget, bro. Freshman year was nah. It was sophomore year. Sophomore year was the year before I got the sauce. I got the sauce junior year. I hate that. But I was. I, I used to get into it with the niggas. I used to get into it with the man, but bro, because it was no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What year did you graduate? Thirteen. 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 Fourteen. Thirteen. So you was two behind me. I didn't ride with Matt or Miguel. Okay. I'm it probably wouldn't have mattered because I started driving to school. Yeah, I didn't ride with Matt yeah, or Miguel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. But nah, I was in that bitch. Boy, I hate man, look. I remember it was so funny. Like the ghetto chicks used to have issues with me. But when I got soft, I had I, a, her lungs like she ain't got no type of home training and if you're lucky enough you might see two lovely individuals get into what i like to call a gentleman's quarrel you got jamal and <laughs> yeah, Deshaun right. scrapping over yeah, the right. and dumbest inconvenience like it ain't 6 30 in the morning Facts. how do you even have the energy to be like this as if we didn't just wake up 30 minutes prior the back of the bus emits and radiate the most sinister type yeah, of black it's air crazy energy going on ever. back there you walk on the bus you can smell it in the air or that might also just be jamal you can sit in the front of the bus where all the npcs reside trying to have a full-blown conversation with the bus driver about their entire backstory it's either My bus that or the was cool as intellectually him. advanced adolescent little too trading cool. Pokemon nice. once i learned how to roast boy you boy, move to the back i was in the middle i you be cooking them i say boy i i will beat you i was cook i remember i cooked one but he's like, you want to fight? I say, please. <laughs> please. See? This was wrong with these these. Bro, no, nah, because niggas right here eat it. Bro, I never forget. I'll whip one day.
Throw bad in the back of the way. I say, please. And I used to, I said, all right, bet. I move back there. He's like, what's up? Thought I, I said, wait till the next bump. He was like, the next bump? I said, yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> bull, he went up. I said, oh, boom. Well, I, well, I went See, to that two, two different ends. <laughs> two Bro, because School was war for me. <laughs> or you can sit in the middle of the bus where all and the normal. normal people sit. It's not too close to the front where all the brainiacs and anime kids are, but it's not too far back where all the delinquency takes place. But even if you do find a decent enough place to sit, that doesn't necessarily mean you're in the clear. You gotta because watch you're out who's still on the bus. You. Let's not act like between the wretched chairs with the desk attached and the school bus seats, those had to be the most uncomfortable places to rest your yeah, derriere. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! The floors always had something on it, whether it was a Boy, when they upgraded them seats, them buses, boy, there would never be a time where you. Did your bus driver ever make you try to write, put on a seatbelt? I don't think so. They tried to make us put on a seatbelt one time. <laughs> my bus driver was too. Like my bus driver was so cool. Like she shouldn't have had a job. Oh damn! Yeah, she was that type of she, school she, bus. She was. It was like we loved it, spotless. but you shouldn't have this job. I remember, <laughs> I remember. I had one fine bus driver. Oh damn! Never had that. I mean, she was so fine. I man. Every time I get on the bus, hey, Mr. Jones, stop talking to me. <laughs> Please. Uh, Let's not also forget that there were no seatbelts in this vehicle, which also meant no stability at none, all. None. The school bus was basically none. a death trap. <laughs> I'm in For sure. Depending on how the bus driver operated the bus, determined whether or not it would be a smooth ride, or you showing up to homeroom with the concussion via Never school really bus felt window. comfortable. I honestly don't Never. know if these people are like, just safe. responding to the bus driver needed ads. I remember I Spun out in the snowstorm. The system has to do a like when it did, it was a freeze. It was a freeze. Jesus Christ! When we was going to school. That bitch, it was right on. Um, what's that? Folsom, because our bus driver was late. So and so when you know when a, that bug. So you know when a bus driver is late, it got to pick up other kids that yeah missed yeah. the bus. Went on Folsom. That mug did this. Boy, my mom can't pick me up. She's like, yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, you ain't riding that. Thinking who drives the bus because they did not care about our well being at all. Didn't and feel if you like thought it. riding on the bus to school in the morning was treacherous, nah, yeah, after, it was about after, 10 times after worse was cool. from school. After the afternoon was cool. Not only do you have kids that are fully energetic and ready to yeah. hurry home, some of them had gym class, so that means three fourths of the football. Hold like, up. I ain't gonna hold you. I used to be on that bit funky Me as hell. Boy, as hell, I used to be on that hoax. As in the spring we terrible. had what we called brewing camp. We was crawling through the mud. <laughs> Horrible. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Expired orangutan I know I What? And the other one fourth already only showers once a month. Kids are riled up from everything that's transpired at school. Jamal and Deshaun are trying to resume Jesus. their tables, ladders, and chairs <laughs> match they had earlier. Trying to see who's going to be the next intercontinental school John bus Shana. champion. The hot Cheeto girl then bought four more bags of Facts. Cheetos in the snack line at lunch with a 20 ounce bottle of Mountain Dew. And of course the dude oh. was blasting the music earlier in the morning. Back at still it. blasting that track. Music because he getting on the bus jamming it. On the F he on the bus holding so his phone to the battery yeah. ain't gonna die because the battery's built for it, tough for you. The kids on the school bus got the driver questioning every life decision for he's sure. made up to this point. He's thinking to himself like he's an anime villain. You freaking gremlins always talking about going on a field trip. You can definitely go on a field trip. <laughs> hey man, stop talking to yourself like a weirdo driver at home. <laughs> See, me personally, I couldn't be a school bus driver because I don't at have all. the patience nor mental capacity Boy. to even deal with those kids. They have no respect for the teachers already, so Boy, you know like, for a fact they're definitely not respecting they don't, the driver. We, the kids, we really didn't like Loki, like nobody. You don't even think about respecting the bus driver. around seven some, and normally they're picked up around six thirty in the morning, meaning you probably have to be there at a certain time to pick up the bus meaning you have to be up around five yep. maybe even four to early. start your day and if you're anything like i am then you know you're not going to sleep anytime earlier than oh 100 hours or 1 a.m for simpler times mm -hmm. so you get about four or five hours of sleep then you have to be on a funky bus that smells like a freshly opened bag of hot flame of <laughs> with a bunch of loud obnoxious annoying kids that alone who is clean the buses man cry and lose oh, no. his mind then on top of that you gotta drive them back home from school and don't let it be summertime because that school bus turns into a man and on boy wheels. half of those boy. windows don't roll all the way down and the so other glad half don't roll down at all glad so you got about yeah. 40 to 50 students hopped up on fruit cups and chocolate milk and on top of that 
It's 250 degrees inside the bus. And they stink. And don't even think about putting your head on the window because it'll turn your face into a cookie. Wheel. So glad I never had the experience like the cookie. bus in the summer. Piece Jesus Christ. All right, uh, I'm glad I ain't never had to go to summer school. Exactly. Man, they was they, that was the bad kids too. Like not terrible. Yeah.